Getting older is not easy. For women, menopause can be brutal. Hot flashes, weight gain, memory loss, and a fading interest in sex. Well, best-selling author and diet guru Suzanne Summers says that with a little help, getting older can mean you're just getting better. Her new book is called The Sexy Years. Suzanne Summers, you are not 57, a grandmother of six. You are not. If this is menopause, I want some. <laughs> you will when you know what I have to say in this book. It's so incredible. Menopause hit me like this big fist. That was my 50th birthday and my kids were all around. They gave me this great dinner and my son, who I had when I was 17 years old, is giving me one of those toasts that every mother dreams their son will say and he's standing there saying, Ma, you are my life. And I'm thinking, yeah, great. Can we go outside? I'm just so hot. <laughs> <laughs> so I call it the seven dwarves of menopause. Itchy, bitchy, itchy, bitchy, sleepy, sweaty, bloated, forgetful, and all dried up. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs all that? So what you did was you went in search to find some solutions. How yes. long did it take you? It took me about a year. And during that year, I never slept. I itched. I bitched. I sweat. Ooh. I bloated. I did everything. Well, it was just a family awful. show. Oh, yeah, oh well. Be careful with the B word. Anyway, but the point is that you 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 know really struggled you went from doctor, doctor, to, doctor to, doctor to doctor and finally you found a doctor who told you what yeah uh, I found an endocrinologist who has chosen to specialize in bioidentical hormone replacement therapy okay now biologically identical to human hormones and what I found out is most of our doctors and I love my doctors because I've had cancer and I, I'm not anti-pharmaceutical but if I don't need to take a drug I don't want to so and I looked at the synthetic hormones, which are not hormones. They are essentially symptom suppressors that take away some of the nasty effects of menopause, but do nothing to actually replace what you've lost in the aging process. Mm -hmm. So this doctor took my blood work, saw where my levels were, made a bioidentical cocktail just for me, exactly what my body makes, not a synthetic pharmaceutical drug, and within a very short period of time I came to balance and balance all those symptoms all those symptoms you think every single one of them every single one and you know uh, the 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 one that no woman ever talks about I call it the big unmentionable is that you lose your sex drive and I'm sitting there thinking the sex symbol has lost her sex drive <laughs> something <laughs> oh, is wrong no. with this picture but when you, you come to sexy years well, though, when now. you when you get to balance life is all about balance in every way when you get to balance everything comes back so it's not that it's a book about sex but it sure is nice at this age with the kids out and the big purchases are out of the way and you know what you're gonna do for a living you don't have all that angst that I have the time and the inclination. <laughs> now my husband... So your husband is, is constantly in trouble then. You're always looking for him. Well, see now my husband, who is 10 years older than I am, was looking at me and I'm, I'm just full of energy and I'm you know, writing books and putting together my one woman show and I just got so creative since my brain came back. And he was falling asleep. After breakfast, I'd look at him, he'd leave the office and go... You know, and then at, at late in the afternoon, he'd leave the office and go, <laughs> and then after dinner, he'd go, <laughs> and then he'd want to go to bed. And I said, you are fading in front of me. You're just wilting. So um, I sent him up to my doctor. She took his levels, she saw that his testosterone was very low, his DHEA was very low, gave him a bioidentical patch, and he's two stairs at a time and creative. This is, this is all the menopausal women are suffering. Okay, but I've got to stop you and ask you a very serious yes. question. Mm -hmm. because this is all you're serious. You know, because you're talking mm -hmm. about what you say is not synthetic HRT, Correct. which is what women have been Correct. until now. Um, a lot of them have stopped taking because of concerns. A lot of controversy about, I, about studies that have shown that there's a link between HRT and other disease, promotion of other diseases in women. You're talking about a more natural form that you would get over the, over the counter, a prescription. With a prescription, exactly what my body makes. Okay, but Suzanne. Yes. This has not been highly researched. Because. Okay, but you are a breast cancer survivor. This is. What makes you not worried? That you're going to have. I know, I know, I know. You have so much energy, but that makes you not worry that this not research, not highly researched arena is going to, you know, protect you from first, from, from getting breast cancer again or first some of all, disease. First of all, I don't give advice. This is what I'm doing. If you l l like what I'm having, you might look into it. I'm I'm saying that right there. But when I had cancer, when it's going through my my cancer treatment, all my doctors, you have to give up hormones, and I said I can't, because. 
I have spent hundreds of hours studying this, and our doctors, unless they've chosen to specialize, have had four hours of instruction in the hormonal system if they showed up that day. So they really have, and, and medicine is changing all the time. From all the research I've done, all these doctors that I've interviewed in this book who are cutting edge and compassionate, not naturalists or herbalists, they are Western doctors, concur that it's an environment of balanced hormones that prevents disease. So to me, I'm fighting my breast cancer with my hormones in balance and the synthetic hormones make hormonal imbalance, which is why all those diseases come. Well, Suzanne Summers, I have to stop you now. <laughs> Obviously, the forever. book is to be read, and I'm sure that a lot of people are going to be interested in finding out what you found. Thanks. This is a great time of life if you get it.